Harry was a lovely child of eight, who had blonde hair, blue eyes, and a twinkle. When he went to school, however, the twinkle went away. He had few friends, and every time the teacher spoke to him, he felt like she was yelling. He didn't quite understand all of the words and was hesitant to ask questions because no one liked him already. At home, he could not take multi-step directions. Mother felt like he never listened, he didn't like to come out and join the family, and stayed in his room. He didn't talk to his siblings, and he would rather everyone just leave him alone. For kids like Harry, most people didn't realize that loud noises bothered him, that he was afraid of dogs, and he didn't like all the lights being on, because he didn't make a fuss, and he didn't even realize what he was running away from. Laughter was not really a part of his life. He could be in his room and much more calm on the inside because there was few distractions and few guesses about what others wanted of him. When he came to the office, he was shy and afraid. In the first session, however, he began to soften because the office was quiet and the people were happy. Since there were people around him who seemed like they were going slower, he was able to relax and enjoy himself a little more and he found that there were few expectations and he could accomplish those easily. Once training began and he knew our expectations, he was able to attend to the work at hand, even though he felt it was more like play and therefore results came quickly and were obvious. He was able to understand his studies better. He no longer felt like the teacher was yelling at him and he was able to play with his siblings despite the loud noises they made. Mother was ecstatic that her son was truly a new person and she no longer had to give him directions repeatedly. For more information about neurofeedback therapy treatment, please call 636-686-5555 or visit our website at www.rhistl.com.